Today we will be finding the surface area of a cone. Now cone is actually one of those shapes which I advise you uh, to memorize the formula rather than trying to understand the concept of how the formula was derived. Uh, because the net shape of a cone, well, let me just draw it for you. So this is what a cone looks like. I'm sure you're all familiar with a cone, like an ice cream cone. And let's call this length here r, that's the radius of the base circle. And for the surface area, we'll need this length. We'll call that L, or the slant height of the cone. So as it is with any other three-dimensional um, objects, when we're trying to find the surface area, we'll need to open this up and see what shapes um, compose uh, this three-dimensional object. So if you open this up, if you open a cone up, it's actually going to look something like this. It's going to look like a piece of pizza and the circle base be that. So just to help you visualize which part is which, uh, the blue base is this part right here. And the thing that's, that's wrapped around that blue base circle is this part right here. So if you wrap this shape around the circle base, you'll get a cone. And the measurement here would be r, this would be r, and l would be this length, this would be l. So to get the surface area of the cone, the surface area will have to equal the blue circle, right? We're just adding up the components, plus the red uh, pizza piece. Well, the area of the blue circle is easy if we know what r is, right? If, that's, if r is the radius of that circle, then the area of that blue circle is going to be pi r squared. And our only problem is the area of this pizza piece. How do we get the area of this pizza piece? Well, if you imagine a pizza that this piece is part of, so this pizza piece is actually a part of a bigger pizza, like that. So it, it is part of a circle. And here we'll need to use a proportion. Okay, so if we know what fractional part this pizza piece is of the whole circle, then we can find that same fractional part of the whole area, of the whole circle area, to get the area of that pizza piece. So here's what I mean. The fractional part of um, this part over, so the fractional part of the red part over the whole, I'll color the whole circle green. And actually the green is going to also include this red area. All right, so this will be the fractional part of the pizza piece. And we can find the area of the green area because um, we know that the radius of this green area is L. This is the radius of that green area. So the denominator here, the green area is going to be pi L squared, right? It's going to be the, the area of the circle where L is the radius. So this is the fractional part of that pizza piece. And this fractional part has to equal the fractional part. So here we are comparing areas. And here I'm going to compare the circumference. OK, 
Okay, so if you look at the whole circumference of the circle, the whole circumference of the circle, that's going to be this purple length here. Right, so the purple length Notice I'm matching up the whole part with the whole part. The green was the whole area, so that's why I'm matching it up with the whole length. I'm not putting the purple length in the numerator because then the whole will be in different places. So the purple length, and that will have to be... Oops. And the numerator here the red area so that the red area is talking about that pizza piece there and the length or the circumference of that pizza piece would be this part right here it's actually not the circumference because because it's not a full circle but it's the uh, the same arc length that we're talking about so the purple both the purple length and the yellow length are talking about the arc length Maybe, maybe it would have been more accurate if I said the arc length instead of the circumference. But anyway, so this is the proportion that we're using. Okay, so part, this is the part, part is in the numerator, the part and the whole is in the denominator. So the area of the part to the area of the whole is going to equal the arc length of the part to the arc length of the whole. Okay, this is a proportion we're setting up. And we can find each of these components except for the red area. And the red area is what we're actually trying to solve for. So let's simplify this proportion. We don't know what the red area is, so let's call that x. We're trying to solve for x. And we've already said that the green area was pi l squared. Pi l, l squared. And that is going to equal the yellow arc length, right? This this yellow arc length is actually the if you if you refer to this picture here, that length is actually the circumference of the small circle, right? That length is the length that's been wrapped around that small circle. So the yellow length is going to be two times pi times r, right? That's the circumference of this small circle. And the purple length is going to be 2 times pi times L, because the radius of that big circle is L, so the circumference is going to be 2 times pi times the radius, which is 2 pi L. Okay, and now we can simplify this proportion. The 2 pi's will cancel, so now we'll get x, let me actually write the x in red, x over pi l squared is going to equal L r over l and we multiply both sides by pi l squared pi l squared the pi l squared will cancel with the pi l squared here and on this side the l one of the l's will cancel there are two L's on the numerator, so one of the L's will cancel with the denominator. So now we get the X part. The X is equal to R times pi times L. And let me just rearrange that. Um, pi R L, it's the same thing. I'm just rearranging it like this so that it kind of matches up with this part here. Okay, so this is the area, pi R L, is the area of the red piece here. So to find the surface area, you just need to add pi r squared, which is the area of the blue piece, area of the blue piece, plus pi r l, which is the area of this pizza piece. Okay, so if this whole process of deriving the formula has been confusing, then don't worry too much about that. I advise you to just memorize this formula to find the surface area of a cone. So the surface area is going to equal, surface area is going to equal pi r squared plus pi r l, well, where r is the radius of that base, 
and L is the slant height of that cone. 